Hi everyone, welcome to another episode in this video series titled How to Miro. In this episode, we'll take a look at the various ways we can add an image to our Miro board. So, let's dive in. If you're following along, uh, do have your Miro board up and ready. Uh, so, on your screen, uh, I have mine. It is a blank Miro board at the moment, and let's uh, let's fill it up with some images. So, to add an image to your Miro board, what you can do is you can click on this icon here, which is the upload icon, and from here you have a few options to upload. Um, the first one is my device. So let's click on that. And this upload this brings up the a pop up uh, with uh, which allows you to select files from your device. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select this image from my downloads folder, and then the upload process should start, and this image should appear on my screen. Depending on the image size, it may take a while. Um, and this image that I just uploaded, I know that it is uh, a few. MB. So while that has been uploaded, so that is obviously one of the most basic ways you can upload a file, upload an image uh, to your Miro board and this is something that you might have seen in other softwares as well uh, is to just upload a file from your device. Now apart from that there's a few other ways which we can use to upload an image and the second one and there we go. So the the first image that we uploaded is right here. And it'll take a while to sort of um, upload it in a full resolution. So that's it's just loading. Anyway, so the second way we can upload uh, an image to our Miro board is via a URL. So if I click on this, so it brings me a pop up and it asks me to give me a URL for the image. Right, so for this one, what I'll do is I've jumped into unsplash.com, which is a collection of different images. Click the first image, and what I've done is I have just opened up this image in a new tab. There you go. This is the image, and what I'll do is I'll just click on this, copy this link, and paste it in here. So this should upload the image from this location uh, onto the mirror board. There you go. So our telephone is right here. We have uploaded the first image from the device and then the second image from a URL. Uh, so there we go. Two images done. Two sources done. Next what we'll do is we'll click on this again um, and click on saved files. Now there are no saved files at the moment but as this dialog box says it says to save a file right click it and select add to saved file so let's say if I want to save this image the image of this telephone I can right click it and click on add to save files so this means that if I delete this image from the board I should be able to click on this again click on the saved files box again and then basically just click on it to re-upload the image. Now the image itself is not is not appearing here in this dialog box but that's fine. You can see that the image itself has been re-uploaded in onto the board. So that is the third approach which is to use the saved files option. Let's take a look at the next approach which is called web clipper. So if I click on this, I can see that again there's there's no files here, but what is this web clipper? Now this is a Chrome extension called Miro Web Clipper. This is something that you can download from the Chrome Web Store. So this is available only for Google Chrome. Once you've installed that, it appears here in your Chrome extensions uh, space and then of course you can select which account you want um, the images that you capture from this extension where, does, where should it be stored 
and how would you like to capture images how would you like to clip images you would like to clip the visible area the entire page or you know you want more power in your hands and you want to select the area yourself Miro web clipper allows you to basically take a screenshot of any other page and that screenshots are automatically saved to your Miro account so that's very handy and so let me demonstrate that for you so if I go into unsplash.com um, I'll just refresh the page and scroll a bit down further down and now if I click on this extension and then I click on selected area you can see that it brings me this little dialog um, this little area rectangle and from here now I can pretty much aim at any image or I can even take the whole screen I can adjust this space um, and so this is a nice little space that I want uh, and I'm going to save this orange save this uh, fruit into my Miro account um, and so I've taken a screenshot of this uh, and now if, what if I do is if I go back to my Miro account Miro board click on upload and then click on web clipper I should see this image here so this is the one that I just captured I can now drag and drop this onto my Miro board uh, and there you go that's the orange fruit that I just captured so we've had a look at four ways so far four ways to upload an image either you can use a file upload directly from your device you can upload an image from a URL uh, you can save certain images from Miro from your Miro boards and uh, not just this board but any other board that you have in your, under your account you can save images um, into a folder called saved files and then upload the image from there or you can use web clipper to basically take a screenshot of any other page and then just upload that image onto your Miro board if I click on these three little dots here I can open up um, a, another screenshot another another model uh, which is called apps and now from here there's a few other ways to upload uh, images as well so let's take a look at that the first one is icon finder so now this is specifically for icons um, but you know if you are looking for an image that s sort of fits into the icon category then I thought I should just cover this if you click on icon finder you have various various icons here and you might want to uh, search for the images over here as well uh, and you might actually get a nice illustration from icon finders so it's not just icons you know you could also pick something like this um, and use it on your mirror board another way to add images to your mirror board is if you click on apps and then search for unsplash and that will uh, show up here in this list called available apps now this is only showing up uh, uh, under available apps because I have not added this app to my Miro account so what I can do here is I can click on it uh, and just have a look at what this app is all about uh, so you can see here this is a another sort of pop-up uh, this is details about this particular app so in Miro you have different apps available they have their own app store and depending on your use case you can always search um, your use case in that model from the list of apps and then just like this we found unsplash uh, and then would we since we already copied one a uh, couple of images from unsplash.com let, let us go ahead and just get this app and once I get this app the app will be installed in my Miro account and then if I search for it again you can see that it is now showing up under installed apps so I click on that and then I search for whatever keyword I'm searching for and I can see if I search for fruit I have a few images showing up over here so it's the same 
orange image but let's just select something else um, this is an image of a pineapple so let's keep that here so that was two ways which we can use um, to add images from the apps dialog box so that's uh, this little model over here now a quick tip uh, if you happen to use one of these apps quite frequently what you can do is instead of you know clicking three dots and then or uh, searching for that app from this um, panel what you can do is you can drag and drop this particular app into the left hand side menu and once you do that you don't have to click on the three dots anymore you can just click on the app directly and it will open up the model instantly so that's a quick tip for you guys now just like we installed unsplash uh, as an app what we can do is we can click on the we can click on the upload icon and click on the more button here to see a list of more um, ways that we can actually um, um, upload uh, your images into into your board now the first one is Google Drive um, but and that's what we'll have a look at in this video but of course um, the others are pretty much the same it follows the same suit um, so let's click on Google Drive and, and install that app so this should present me um, another model uh, it tells me about Google Drive and this is an app um, that's been created and what we can do is we can click on the get app button to install Google Drive so now that appears here in this pop-up um, and then I click on it and then it and then it opens up another page which allows me to choose my account and I can choose my account I need to basically sign into my Google account and um, I need to approve the access that Miro is requesting so that Miro can access my Google account and upload images from my Google Drive so that is essentially what we'll do here so I'll click on the allow button and there you go so it now has access to my Google Drive and what I'll do is I will click on one of this image and just select it so that's an image that was in my Google Drive and I have just copied that image onto my Miro board so just like that we have seen a couple of actually a few ways uh, to to add images to uh, the Miro board uh, the first one we took a look at is just the usual file upload uh, clicking on that opens up um, a dialog box which allows you to choose a file from your PC um, we also took a look at uploading an image via a URL then we took a look at Miro web clipper which we could take a screenshot of any image of any um, page uh, as long as you're using Google Chrome and then that gets stored into your uh, Miro web clipper for under your account now uh, then we also looked at saved file so that is if you like the file before you can save it and then you can reuse it we looked at Google Drive uh, uploading an image from Google Drive uploading an image from Unsplash uh, but that is using the app and not the website itself um, and then finally also uploaded an image using icon finder so that's a whole bunch of different ways where you can upload an image to your Miro board uh, and so I do encourage you to try them out so make your Miro board nice and colorful uh, nice and playful with all these images uh, and, and add some add some character uh, and add some uh, liveliness to your Miro board by uploading an image from one of these sources that we looked at in this video so I hope you really like this video if you do give it a thumbs up um, and do subscribe to this channel so that you are notified when a new video comes out on this YouTube channel um, and do share this video with other friends and family and colleagues who might benefit from this video until the next time so see you 
in another video.